they're really, really cute. A bearing went out on the baler. So shy of 700 pounds. That's after we're gonna attach a GoPro to the kite. It blew out. <laughs> Mow some hay. to Todd Family Farm. Today is Monday, September 13th. Um, so we already did the barn this morning. Me and Emma have been tasked with doing a little bit of machete work. Well, I actually did some of this on Saturday, but not quite all of it. So we're going to be doing a little bit more today. So I'm now heading out to the hoop building to trim up some saplings that are growing in there. Um, and I thought I'd just give you a little update. You can see behind me the beans are starting to turn. We're thinking we might be able to start harvesting about two weeks from now. So that is really exciting. I love harvest. Harvest is my favorite time of year. So I'm really looking forward to it. We've got a field of corn that actually might go before some beans. It's just like really drying down really fast. So that is exciting. I hope you guys are looking forward to that because I know that I am. Anyways, I'm coming out here to the building to trim up some little saplings that are growing. Just like um, this right here would be a pretty good example, I guess. So I'm just coming and... So it's not as easy to chop as just weeds because it is wood. So I'm gonna be doing this. Okay, we are done got a lot of saplings cut out and that is a good job to have done. So now I think the next thing on the job list is me and Papa are gonna run up town and run a few errands and then also one of the things we have to do up there is pick up some cow feed from Zolzols. So we are going to now head up there and do that. Well we are now up at Zolzols. We're gonna get the cow feed loaded up and we're gonna head home. We got that done. Now we can head home. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we're over here at the barn now. We just finished unloading the cow feed. Uh, we're picking up, playing with the kittens. The kittens are getting big. They really like to run around now. And they're really, really cute. So. So this is the one that we know is a female because she's got three colors. She's black, white, with a little bit of gray, and then she's also got some orange in her. I don't know if you can see very well, but she's really cute. She's really spunky. And then we've got that orange and white one that I was holding earlier. And then we've got this one. Hi! So we're not sure what this one is. Hi, BB. Yeah, it's really cute. They're all super cute. Like. Okay, so we are back from the barn now. We are going to get the 44 hooked up to the mower conditioner that way. Papa is going to be mowing some hay this afternoon. Um, this is going to be the final mowing of hay for the year, so we're going to get that mowed down. Uh, I don't think he'll get it all done today, but he'll get a good chunk of it, and then he can finish up tomorrow. So we're going to get the 44 hooked up to the mower, and he's going to start mowing hay. Okay, here's the mower. Uh, Dad's bringing the 44 down. Uh, we got to put this hitch on before we can hook it up, so we're going to do that, and then we can get this thing hooked up. My camera battery died, but we got it hooked up. Okay, it is the next day. So, um, Papa was gonna mow hay yesterday afternoon. He actually didn't end up doing it because he came over, 
he was going to lift up the mower and head out and a hydraulic hose blew out. So he had to take that up, get it fixed, come back down, put it on. And this did take a little while to get it put back on and everything. So by the time he did that, um, it was too late to really do any good. And he just went inside and called it a day. But you can see we've got two new hoses on here because we actually had to replace one earlier this summer and then one old hose, which we think we're going to have to fix sometime soon because it's only a matter of time before that one busts too. So he's going to be starting on the mowing this morning and right now we're up here working on the baler because we went up and baled our neighbor's hay last week and while we were doing that a bearing went out on the baler so we're trying to get that taken off. They were going to try and cut it off so they might have that done when I get up here but we will see. Did you get it off? Yes. Papa cut it in and this is the new one so We've never had to replace this before. Before, So they ended up cutting it off. You can see there, that's where they Grandma. took it off of. Yes. So that shaft there with the bearing on it that went bad, it goes right up here. That's so one end back. fastens right here and one end fastens over there. Uh, working on the van. <laughs> Oh wait, it fell down into it. You go. It thinks about maybe just shy of seven hundred pounds. Daddy. Probably eight hundred. That is making jokes about seven hundred pounds. Oh, I can't, I knew 700 for a short period of time, not real long. Nah, seriously, it's, all, it's only probably maybe 150, 175 pounds. Okay, we got the shaft back up there. We got, now dad's just oh, yeah. right tightening it Where up. Where is it? There you go. Um, we're just getting it tightened up and this should be good to go. All right, so we got the baler put away and now uh, Papa and Lemuel are going to head out and mow some hay. I don't know if you can see very well, but Jocelyn has gotten out of kite, so her and the little girls and Izella are down there flying the kite. Dad says we're going to attach a GoPro to the kite. This could be good, could be bad. We'll see. Well, we're rigging something up to attach a GoPro to the kite. Okay, hang on, I want to see the finished product there. Oh boy. It's not going too well. We're trying something new. Well, here goes. Oh dear. Okay, that method actually succeeded, but we ran out of string, so we're tying more string on. Well, we have tied more string on. Oh boy. <laughs> the poor GoPro! Okay, I think Dad's bringing it in. Hurry, as soon as you can reach it, grab it. Why? Because we don't want it to fall. Get it! Oh, hurry! 
So we took the string all the way out and now we're gonna leave and let them bring the string all the way back in. <laughs> Good luck guys. <laughs> it is way up there. I don't know if you guys can even see it. I came up with the way of getting it in faster. <laughs> now you wind a kite in. If you take and you spin and you use and you hang on to it and you spin the thing around the string, you twist the string. So you have to wind it in. Well, this is the way we wind it in. Uh oh. Oh no! Whoa! Oh my god, I got it. Daddy got it. <laughs> So they came up here, they're going up to the lean-to because remember earlier when I showed you that he had replaced the hose yesterday and I said it's only going to be a matter of time before we have to do the other one? Well, do the third one, replace that. Uh, it blew out, so we're going to have to take that out um, off and get that fixed before they can keep going. Okay, little update. We took the hydraulic hose off. You might be able to see it back there, I think. Yeah. So now me, Papa, and Lemuel are getting ready to head uptown to get it fixed. So we will have replaced all three hydraulic hoses this year, so yeah. Alright, we just finished putting the hydraulic hose back on and it's not leaking, it's doing good, it's fixed. So, uh, we have replaced all three hydraulic ho hoses on that mower this year. So, that is great. Um, but yeah, they're gonna keep mowing now and hopefully we won't have any more breakdowns. This is the final cutting of hay for the year, and it's been pretty dry, so it's kind of thin, but we're still going to mow it down and bale it up, so. Okay, they're going to get finished up with the mowing. That is about all that we have to do today. Alright guys, that is going to be about it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. That way you will get notified every single time we post a new video. Leave a comment down below. Check out our website and buy some merch. ToddFamily.farm linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.